Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope we're having a lovely, lovely afternoon. Today, I would like to revisit a piece of news that I went over a month ago. The EU voted to mandate removable batteries in smartphones in a landslide. No more glued together junk. In this video, I read a good portion of this document that was proposed by some members of the European Commission, and this was about 130 pages of stuff talking about removable batteries, what they're looking to do. I went over the, and tried to provide the TLDR of you, you can't glue the battery into the phone anymore in a manner that makes it miserable for a consumer to remove and replace. And one of the things that I think is really cool is that this has been clarified as of a few days ago. On overkill.wtf, which, you know, take with a grain of salt with that domain name, they claim to have spoken to an EU source who has confirmed that the batteries of gaming handhelds are covered by the batteries and waste batteries legislation meaning that handheld consoles, not just smartphones, but also things like the Switch and the Steam Deck and everything going forward like that would require a battery that is removable or replaceable in a manner that is not miserable as well, which in my opinion is a piece of good news. Back in the day, I used to not really fight for this. I used to, I'm, I'm about right to repair. I don't care if the battery is glued in, if it is held in with the, with the with a cum stain. I don't care if it's replaceable with screws. What I care about is that the battery is made available to people who wish to purchase a replacement battery. What kind of changed my mind on this is the, when I would speak to people that would say that consumers chose this, you have companies that made phones with batteries that were not removable. And then they have companies that make phones with batteries that are user removable. And people would choose to buy the one that's user removable. And then that company that made the user removable battery phone decided to stop making phones with user removable batteries. And then every company started doing the same thing at the same time. So if you wanted to choose to buy the phone with a user removable battery, that at some point you just kind of got screwed. And your only choice would be, I want to buy a vastly inferior quality phone or I will buy a phone that is of the quality that I was used to purchasing before, that got the operating system updates that I'm used to getting before, that simultaneously does not have a user removable battery. Technically, you could say, in the full lulbatarian sense of the word, you have a choice to not have a smartphone. You have a choice to not have a phone. You have a choice to use a carbon phone, you know, the ones that they use in the 40s, where you have to bang it on the desk in order to get the, move the carbon filaments around so that you'd be able to speak and hear again because they had a carbon mic in them. There's all sorts of arguments that could be made. Needless to say, at the end of the day, I think your average consumer did not make a choice and say, you know what, I want the battery to be more difficult to remove in my phone. Rather, I think that they purchased what was available, and what was available was something that did not have a user removable battery, and they purchased it because they would rather have that than a flip phone, a rotary phone, a carbon phone, or nothing. And again, you can argue that it is indeed a choice. That person chose that they would rather have a phone with a non-user removable battery than communicate with carrier pigeon like they do in Game of Thrones. That also tends to be why people choose to vote less than 4% in favor of libertarians whenever there's a national election. I think that this may actually be a step in the right direction. Again, they're not trying to mandate the size and type of screw that is used. They're not trying to mandate a specific standard for batteries. They're not trying to mandate a specific technology. What they're saying is make it easier for people to replace the batteries when they are disposable in popular handheld devices. As long as the legislation stays general and doesn't try to have bureaucrats decide the size of the screw and shit like that, I think that this would be a net good for consumers. If they dive into it and try to say, you need to use this specific technology and this specific that and this and the other, that's where I think it can kind of become a nightmare because, again, I, I, the principle, getting the principle right, I think, is simple. Getting the specifics of how to do it right, leave that to the engineers at the company. You had a senior VP of marketing at Apple say, we have to comply, we have no choice. I don't mind governments telling us what they want to accomplish, but we've got some pretty smart engineers to figure out the best ways to accomplish them. And again, you know, you, you've had 15 years to have your very smart engineers figure out how to not make it a pain in the ass for somebody to replace the battery in their phone, and you didn't really care to do that, did you? You've had a long time to put you know, more standard charge port into your phone instead of lightning, and you, you, you didn't do it. You kept doing proprietary crap, and nobody was keeping your smart engineers from figuring this out but you. Are you excited about user removal batteries or does it make you sad? Do you want your electronics to have an expiration date on them because that gives you an excuse to buy a new one and not feel bad about the damage it does to your bank account and your financial goals? I'm very curious. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.